Hello kittens, it's Kitty here. Oh, how exciting, it's been so long. My first time using purple, purple glue. And what I've done is put some glue on my eyebrows. And then I'm going to brush them with a little mascara brush, a disposable one. I've got this stuff called Prosaid, which is really great. It's much better for sticking your eyebrows down than this stuff. However, this stuff comes off more easily when you wash it. This stuff's a pain in the backside to get off your eyebrows because you have to pick it out and it's all like, it's like glue, um, which isn't very nice. And it can be rather painful and irritating. You end up with red eyebrows so I thought, wouldn't it be a good idea to use this first to stop this sticking so hard to the eyebrows but then put this on afterwards to sort of smooth them out because it gives you a much smoother finish. Wherever I can see the blueiness of my beard, I'm going to just dab some orange on there. Uh, I'm going to put some powder on my eyebrows now, just to take the stickiness off the glue. Because even when it's dry, the, the, the glue has a sort of tackiness to it. And we just want to negate that by powdering it. So any remaining tackiness is sort of like squished out of some See, look, it's nice and smooth. Now it's smooth. Anyway, let's put some foundation on, shall we? This is a bit where I start to look a bit strange. Uh, I'm going to draw my eyebrows on, or at least sketch them in.
do, now I've forgotten what I do next. Let me do some outlining of my eyeliner, that's what I usually do next. Eyeliner. That's right, eyeliner. I've got this Cryolan eyeliner. It's a cream eyeliner. Luckily, I have my, I've got this stuff so that when your eyeliner goes dry and horrible, I've got this stuff. Makeup blend. Um, and it sorts your 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 eyeliner out. Makes it creamy again. Creamy and delicious.
that looks slightly more normal again. I was dreading doing drag again. <sighs> You've only been in a very dark place. Eyeliner, liquid, white. So this powder just kind of softens out the, the, um, oh dear, Amy, she's a bit dramatic because she's only looking. Now, what am I doing next? I'm going to do my eyelashes. These are eyelash curlers. Well, they look, they look cool, but they look like a sort of torture device. Eyelash curlers. I mean, look at them. If you didn't know what they were. <laughs> Hello, I'm an eyelash curler. <laughs> I need some googly eyes to put on there. Now, I bought special eyelight. Uh, oh, bleh, I. Lashes, and then Phoebe got into the bedroom and chewed them up. Luckily, some of them survived. See how a little bit of blush makes you look a bit more healthy, like you've just been in for a little jog. 
but I won't use the whole thing because they, they are you've got to think about where it's going to be sticking on your eye and actually it's usually a good idea to measure it first so think about where you're going to put the inside corner because sometimes they can be a bit long and then they get a bit awkward I'm just going to stick them on as they are because I am a large lady, I'm sure that would help. Brush it on like that. You don't want them coming off while you're in the middle of doing whatever it is you're going to be doing. So it's best to put on lashings of eye, like eyelash glue. And then what I tend to do the inner corner on first and then lay it down onto your eyelash just above the eyelash stick it to the lid not onto the eyelash and then it should just stick but it is worth um, Letting the glue just get tacky before you put it up. Oh, one other thing to do to just bend it like that to make it bendier, so it's more curved because then it'll cling better to your eyelid. Don't worry about that white strip because that will that will turn transparent. Now, let's have a look at these bottom lashes. You can see here, they're quite distinct from each other. Isn't that what they do on, on YouTube? But I don't want all of them, I just want some of them. So I'm going to cut them. And then you just pop them. I just pop them yeah. on the black bit under my eye because it's quite thick. It, it works for me anyway. It's a little bit wonky. A little bit wonky, but never mind. It's a look. Hello kittens. A little bit of highlight so that my cheekbone catches the light. Next, we're going to do lipstick, but I was going to do me, what I normally do is do me wig and then my lipstick, but I've got to put something on first. This jumper, my mum made for me. Do you like it? I've got a baby pink one as well. Um, got me go-to Kitty Powers necklace. Where was it? Do you want me to ask Mr. Powers to fetch me red lippy? No thanks. I've got a feeling I know who that is now. Cheeky wench. Mr. Powers won't be able to find my red lippy. My mum said this took ages and then she made a baby pink one as well. I'll wear that on another occasion. Now, uh, let's have a look what we're doing. I've got to put my wig on. I do me literally last because it's traditional. This wig's been around the world. I tell you what, this is one of the cheapest wigs I ever bought. 
and it's so good. It's been around the world with me. I'm going to leave it a little higher so you can see a smidge of me, me eyeshadow. Let me tidy up a bit. It is a rib, raggedy old thing, but I love it. And actually, it's easy because you just chuck it in a cupboard. You don't even have to sort of delicately sit it on a wig head and hope that it doesn't get destroyed because you can literally just shove it in a carrier bag. Let me get it out of the other end and it's fine. <laughs> I do have a mannequin head. I've got several of them. This one. This is just one of them. Hello. Right, let me put some lippy on. Right, lip liner. Right then, we're nearly there. Oh, how exciting! Right then, let's put the hat on. There we go. Yeah. Hello, kittens. Right then, let me put some lip gloss on. Can't go wrong with a bit of glitter. I need to clean that bit of muck off my chin. That's what she said. So thanks for joining me today. Now don't forget to follow me and like and subscribe and all that nonsense. Okay, please buy my games if you haven't already. Kitty Powers Matchmaker. Kitty Powers Love Life. Speed Day. Kitty Powers Speed Day is free. If you want to tip me and provide me with some funds to make my next game. You can uh, buy me some kitty pearls. Everyone loves a pearl necklace, including me. Buy one in Kitty Power Speed Date. Anyway, I'll let you go. I'll see you later, kittens. Bye-bye.